taught by Father Jeremy Happy Rimina. Jesus calls us to continue persevering until the end. Monday of First Week and Ordinary Time Readings Her rival insulted Anna, because the Lord had made her sterile. Beginning of the First Book of Samuel 1, 1 to 8 There was a certain man from Ramathame, Elkanah by name, a Zophite from the hill country of Ephraim. He was the son of Jeraham, son of Elihu, son of Toho, son of Zuf, an Ephraimite. He had two wives, one named Hannah, the other Penina. Penina had children, but Hannah was childless. This man regularly went on pilgrimage from his city to worship the Lord of hosts, and to sacrifice to him at Shiloh, where the two sons of Eli, Hophni and Phinehas, were ministering as priests of the Lord. When the day came for Elkanah to offer sacrifice, he used to give a portion each to his wife Peninnah, and to all her sons and daughters, but a double portion to Hannah, because he loved her, though the Lord had made her barren. Her rival, to upset her, turned it into a constant reproach to her that the Lord had left her barren. This went on year after year, each time they made their pilgrimage to the sanctuary of the Lord, Peninnah would approach her, and Hannah would weep and refuse to eat. Her husband Elkanah used to ask her, Hannah, why do you weep, and why do you refuse to eat? Why do you grieve? Am I not more to you than ten sons? Responsorial Psalm Psalm 115 verses 12 to 13, 14 to 17, 18 to 19 Response to you, Lord, I will offer a sacrifice of praise. How shall I make a return to the Lord for all the good he has done for me? The cup of salvation I will take up, and I will call upon the name of the Lord. To you, Lord, I will offer a sacrifice of praise. My vows to the Lord I will pay in the presence of all his people. Precious in the eyes of the Lord is the death of his faithful ones. O Lord, I am your servant, I am your servant, the son of your handmaid, you have loosed my bonds. To you, Lord, I will offer a sacrifice of praise. My vow... ...to the Lord I will pay in the presence of all his people, in the courts of the house of the Lord, in your midst, O Jerusalem. To you, Lord, I will offer a sacrifice of praise. Alleluia Mark 1 verse 15 The kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. Gospel Repent and believe I the gospel. A reading of the holy gospel according to Mark 1 verses 14 to 20. After John had been arrested, Jesus came to Galilee proclaiming the gospel of God. This is the time of fulfillment. The kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. As he passed by the Sea of Galilee, he saw Simon and his brother Andrew casting their nets into the sea. They were fishermen. Jesus said to them, Come after me and I will make you fishers of men. Then they left their nets and followed him. He walked along a little farther and saw James, the son of Zebedee, and his brother John. They too were in a boat mending their nets. Then he called them. So they left their father Zebedee in the boat along with the hired men and followed him. Talk. Dear brothers, 
Jesus, our love, presents himself to us today through his most powerful word to continue to lead us joyfully towards endless happiness in the house of his Father, the Father of Jesus, our Father. In the first reading, Jesus wants to show us that perseverance in prayer is a weapon that defends the weak against the violence, aggressiveness, and annoyances of people indifferent to our misery, our problem, our trial. The answer that Jesus proposes to us in the first reading is to persevere in prayer with confidence, as Hannah did. When the person persists, Jesus brings another person close to her to encourage her, as happened to Hannah in her trial. She could not have children, she was sterile, but the Lord placed her husband by her side to encourage her. Jesus puts someone by our side to help us persevere. It is as if the death and the resurrection of Jesus Christ walk together with us. We walk in the death and in the resurrection of Jesus Christ. On the one hand, death. There are people who want to kill us, who kill our honor, who annoy us, who persecute us, who hate us for no reason. But on the other hand, there are other people who love us, who love us, who encourage us in the name of Jesus. Jesus tells us, Courage, I am with you. Even if you don't see me, there is someone who represents me. There is no one who loves Jesus and has only enemies, no one. On the other hand, in the gospel, Jesus calls us to enter to follow him, leaving everything behind. He calls the first apostles, who are also his first disciples, those according to the Gospel of St. Mark. He called them lovingly, and they followed him. Jesus also calls us continually to follow him, not to leave ourselves ravage the world, but to conquer the world like him, and to follow him without hindrance, no traps, no ties, no chains, but freely out of love for him, because Jesus deserves it. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Come Holy Spirit. Immaculate Heart of Mary, protect us. Our Lady of Carmen, pray for us. Jesus Christ be praised. Jesus, I trust you.